the rider, the saddle, and the horse interact. And it really is a, a three-way interaction. You've got the shape of the horse's back to consider the way the horse's shoulders move. You need a saddle that fits the horse. And then you need a rider that fits the saddle. I should probably say that the other way around. The, the saddle needs to also fit the rider because if the rider is not comfortable, then they're going to sit in a different position, maybe sit a little bit off center, and that's going to affect the force that the horse feels on his back. So the way I investigate that in the research lab is that we have an electronic pressure mat that goes between the saddle and the horse's back, and it actually measures the pressure that the horse feels as a result of the saddle and the rider combination. So it doesn't tell us exactly what the problem is, you know, you still need to be able to interpret the data, but it will show you, for instance, if there's more weight on the left side or the right side, or if there's too much pressure over the horse's shoulder or under the stirrup bar, that kind of thing. But for me, I'm really interested in using it for research into things like different gates. How does the rider's body weight um, react differently with the horse's back in different gates and in different styles of riding. Um, if you use a rising trot rather than a sitting trot, you can decrease the peak pressure on the horse's back, but the pressure gets spread out more over the entire stride. So the peak is lower, but the lowest pressure is higher. That makes sense. So you can't actually take the force away, you can redistribute it.